What's up everyone, this is CNBigamer96 here, and today, this is not a normal video, this is more of a kind of thing. Alright guys, if you don't, if you guys are not in the know about what the hell is uh, going on, uh, YouTube, I have a funny feeling YouTube is pretty much blacklisting us content creators. Now, uh, we're going to be covering two YouTubers, um... The first one I really like, uh, his name is Phil DeFranco, link to his video will be in the description box below, so please go check it out. Alright guys, this is Philly D. Start with what is frustrating, which is that as of right now, with the current state of YouTube, the Philip DeFranco show cannot thrive. Uh, in fact, I think very, very soon the Philip DeFranco show may not be able to survive. And it all really boils down to the increased crackdown from YouTube against this channel. I mean, if you've watched the show for a while, you know that I've talked about YouTube cracking down on the channel as far as monetization, uh, but this is a lot more. Back then, we noticed that the Philip DeFranco show had started being demonetized at a higher rate than normal. And so to offset that, of course, we tried to include more sponsors. We launched the, the pay subscription service, DeFranco Elite. People sign up for $5, $10, a month tiers, they get exclusive videos, early videos, exclusive live streams, there's a lot more. And it helps insulate us from the demonetization issue, it allows us to really thrive as a channel and also use that money to build out everything we've been doing behind the scenes. So the demonetization issue on YouTube really isn't of the, the highest priority to me. Unfortunately, we're being hit by what I would call a, a sister algorithm. Often when you see YouTube comments about demonetization, they, they often separate it from suppression of views. And it's accurate, but also at the same time very misleading. Technically, demonetization and the rating of a video let's say, as mature, where it's unable to be on trending, on the front page, watch next, the recommended tab. Think of those as separate, but very, very similar levers. While a video being demonetized does not 100% of the time mean that that video will be suppressed. Now when we see that little dollar sign, it, it's kind of like a canary in a coal mine. Unfortunately, because YouTube is not transparent with how they rate our videos, or why, or what is in that video, you don't know for sure, but it's usually reflected in the views and at the rate of the views. As a side note, YouTube needs to change the back end to let us know what our videos are being rated. In an ideal world, we'd love to also know why. Right, so an example last week, several of our videos were suppressed. Tons of comments saying the video is not popping up where it normally does, what's the deal? The next morning, the videos have around 300 to 450,000 less views than the average videos normally have. One of the biggest problems is, is this is now happening at an alarming rate. And usually what happens is when we bring it to YouTube that they look into it, they, they either say like, oh, okay, well, you talked about this thing, you showed this thing in relation to the story, which I would understand demonetization, sure. Me talking about uh, Syria, Russia, United States relations, maybe Pepsi doesn't want, want that ad there. But it does make sense to people that watch my show on a regular basis that I'm not popping up on the homepage recommended watch next. YouTube built the system so that they feel comfortable knowing, oh, if Phil posts a new video, that's where it's going to be. Or they say, well, you know, the algorithm's learning, the AI's learning. Well, that's the problem. Because this is popping up more and more, it appears that the algorithm has learned to crack down on my videos now. Now that said, I don't want this to be just a video of me whining. Uh, part of this is also, one, I want people to know that I have been posting videos, you may not just have seen them. And two, to really just send my plea out to YouTube, please help me. I want to be able to talk about the news here, world news, serious issues, and I, I honestly, I honestly now, based off of the way YouTube has set itself up, don't believe that I can thrive on this platform anymore. And that's incredibly disheartening for me, especially as a creator who's been on the platform for over a decade, who who really, like, I love saying that I'm a YouTuber, but not with the way things are now. Now that said, to flip it over to the ex So pretty much what he was talking about is how YouTube is straight up demonetizing most of his videos and he's not complaining and that's why most content creators have a Patreon page. If you want to go and support them, find their Patreon, you know, they usually will have a link in the description box below like I do. You know, my Patreon page is in the description box below. If you feel like, hey, I want to support you know, these, my uh, favorite content creator, you know, my favorite YouTuber, support them by Patreon, because YouTube is cracking down on, like, a lot, like, a lot of videos, you know, and since, you know, if that's happening, I'm pretty sure they are kind of suppressing uh, our videos, and that's kind of uh, bad. Now, we're going to talk about uh, another guy, I've covered him, well, I used one of his videos, but I'm going to use another one of his, uh, Monday Matt. His video will be in the description box below. 
also he's going to be covering from a YouTuber, a YouTube article or a blog, whatever the hell they want to call it, um, that came out. And so, you know, go there, read it for yourself and everything. And, you know, just every link that you want to know and everything is in the description box below. All right. So this is uh, Monday and Matt's take on this YouTuber blacklist. Allegations made this week about there being a potential YouTube blacklist. Philly D talked about this in a video yesterday where he said he was very tired and frustrated with the platform, seeing that his views have dropped uh, a considerable amount over the course of the past few days. And it's not just him. I've spoken with larger creators of uh, uh, many different types of communities here on YouTube, and they've all said the exact same thing. Views are down, subscriptions are going away, the, the, the growth has been stalled, and they're left questioning what they're doing wrong. They're left questioning what the hell is happening. And YouTube has been, well, relatively silent, however, until today when there was an update over on the YouTube creator blog. Again, this wasn't like, you know, publicized. This, this isn't an email that we got. This is, again, when it comes to the lack of communication that YouTube has, uh, it, it, this is a big problem. So I'm not going to go through this whole thing. I'm going to focus on what I feel are the three key elements here. The first one, obviously, is the introduction, where it says, Dear YouTube creators, at the beginning of the year, I wrote a letter to you outlining five key priorities in YouTube in 2018. Among those priorities was to communicate more frequently with all of you, and in that spirit, I plan to share updates with the creator community every quarter. Susan, this would be really a good time for you to email this to every account. Uh, that way we get it, right? Don't just post it on your creator blog and go, tee hee hee hee, we did our job. No, 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 you, you want to put it out there. It says, as you can imagine, the last two weeks have been incredibly difficult for the people who work at YouTube, myself included. As challenging as the experience has been for our YouTube family, the outpouring of support and kindness from creators has bolstered our spirits and reminded us why this work is so important. And yes, the YouTube shooting was an absolute tragedy. It should have never happened um, at all, period, full stop. Don't want to go any further into that one, but uh, this is about something, you know, bigger, I want to say, uh, uh, you know, frustrations that have been mounting over the course of the past week with that type of introduction might lead people to, to wonder to themselves whether or not this is actually uh, a result of that. Another knee jerk reaction from YouTube to try to make sure certain things uh, don't get approved or whatever, or, or, or don't get spread, right? And we know that YouTube has tried to uh, cull the amount of fake news videos that, that go out there. Uh, we, we know that uh, certain topics are, are, are absolutely a no-go for monetization. Uh, I mentioned David Hogg in a video uh, about, a, about a tweet he put out there. Didn't talk about the, 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 the Florida shooting at all. Uh, still hit with uh, with limited ads and uh, just kind of a hearty F you from Team YouTube. You know, like th this is not how you should do business. Now, she says here that uh, we know that the last year has not been easy for many of you, but we're committed to listening and using your feedback to help YouTube thrive. Our community continues to grow at a healthy, reasonable, responsible rate. Over the last year, channels earning five figures annually grew more than 35%, while channels earning six figures annually grew more than 40%. While we're proud of this progress, I know we have more work to do. The channels that have grown over to, to over $100,000 in the year are channels that are, are people like the Logan Pauls out there, the, the, the relatively non well i don't want to say non-controversial he's been controversial this year but last year he really wasn't jake paul was a little bit but you rewarded that behavior with jake paul you kept trending him and featuring him and and you know carpool karaoke and jimmy kimmel and stephen colbert all of those things ended up blowing up last year and getting the lion's share of of a lot of attention especially on the front page and that became a problem when people were saying wait these videos like idubs for example was getting you know a million views in less than 24 hours and it never popped up on trending there a reason for that we never got one but you keep saying oh everyone's doing much better except they're, they're really not she goes on to say at the beginning of the year we committed to communicate with you more through social media this year we increased our replies 600 percent and improved our reply rate by 75 percent to tweets addressed across our official handles team youtube youtube creators and youtube 
We've also more than doubled the number of creators receiving personalized email updates. We're communicating in unofficial ways too, like Creator Insider, an employee-run channel that offers behind-the-scenes information about what we're working on. And I will say that I, I was recently approached by one of the companies within YouTube, this little side groups, to to have uh, a, a manage a managing partner with 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 the you know I do apply for it I don't know if I'm going to get it someone who would help me understand what's going on I hope I get it so then the questions that I have I can in fact relay to you guys who are as confused and frustrated as I am right now because I'm, we're all in this together now the YouTube leadership has also made it a priority to connect with YouTube audiences across the globe at South by Southwest Lyar Cohen global head of music delivered a speech about his life serving uh, artists and the role YouTube plays for them today in the future. Robert Kinsel, our chief business officer, sat down with Casey Neistat and, and later took questions from YouTube.
Sorry for the uh, audio uh, problems. Um, that's what you get for like running iOS uh, public beta software. <laughs> Apple, please fix it. Um, honestly, though, so pretty much what he was talking about is um, just pretty much just how YouTube is uh, blacklisting, how you guys are, how the viewers are going to get a little bit much more better with uh with paid sponsors, so pretty much if you don't know that uh, you can pay each live streamer, like your favorite content creator who's live streaming on YouTube, five dollars a month, and pretty much YouTube is gonna cut, take the thirty percent on like you know he, as he discusses uh like Twitch, where they take I believe like eighty percent of the revenue right there. So, but it, that doesn't matter. Uh. But then he just pretty much then talks about like how they're tightening it up, how you know their videos uh that it's gonna get a little bit more stricter, but except it's for uh so that way advertisements can be played on. Alright guys, that is honestly all the time that I do have. Actually, uh edit that out. Alright, so uh honestly, I think there is a sister um algorithm in the whole demonetization where pretty much i think that um that youtube pretty much allows it to where oh if your video gets demonetized it's also being suppressed with views and stuff like that and um i, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys honestly think uh what youtube is really doing behind the scenes Alright guys, that is all the time that I honestly do have. Everything will be in the description box below, including all my social media accounts, my Patreon. If you want to support me there, go ahead. Uh, my official company's uh, app is also in the description box below. It's always the top one, but except in this case, um, the uh, videos and the blog is going to be in the very top for this video. Alright guys, that is that is all, all the time that I do have. This is CN Big Gamer 96 signing out. Peace.